All right. We ready for this? We ready? All right, yo, listen up. You motherfuckers might want Caitlyn Claw to succeed. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Nobody was watching fucking WNBA like this. Nobody was watching college basketball like this. Nobody. You didn't see as many of references to WNBA all throughout ESPN. They got commercials. They getting shoe deals. They getting everything. All off the strength of Caitlin Clark. So they need her to succeed. Because if she doesn't, this is going to be the narrative. That the WNBA does not need to be. Nobody needs the WNBA. So you listen. I don't care what y'all say. Everybody's like, what about Angela Reese? And what about the Aces? And, and they, listen, nobody cares about them. Nobody cared about them until Kayla Clark came around because they started to compare them. There was nothing to compare all these stars that are under WNBA or that are in college to anyone. Think about it. When you think about Kayla Clark, what do you think about? When somebody brings up Kayla Clark, what, what, what do you think about? Like, seriously. Hold on. You think about basketball. You think about a white girl. You think about a white girl beating black people. <laughs> you think about a white girl beating black people in a sport of basketball. When you look at Angel, Angel Reese, I've, I was even saying her name wrong. How many of you motherfuckers out there that said Angela Reese instead of Angel Reese? A lot. A whole, a whole lot of y'all have said that shit. And this is why. Because you don't respect the game. You don't respect the people. When you think about Angel Reese, you don't think about basketball first. You think about TikTok. You think about dancing. You think about that motherfucker on there doing all this shit. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You don't think about basketball first. You only think about basketball when it comes to Angel Reese when it comes, when you talk about Kaylin Clark. That is it. So that's why y'all need her to succeed. Because if she doesn't, yo, that shit is over. It's over. Y'all don't understand how many eyes are on the sport of, of women's basketball right now. Simply because of that little white girl. Listen, I wouldn't give a damn. I wouldn't give a damn. Me, as a female in that sport, I wouldn't give a damn if Caitlin Clark out there doing her thing. In fact, I want her to keep doing it so people can keep looking at us. They not looking at y'all because of you. They don't know. They not. I don't care what anybody says out there in this world. Nobody gives a fuck about women's basketball like that. They look at the shit. It's, it's organized as fuck. It's like watching the Spurs, the Spurs games back in the, 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 uh, the 2000s, right, without people being having the ability to dunk. That's what it's like. And now, since you have more eyes watching the sport because of her, you get to see the highlights of Angel Reese. And like, that bitch was balling. That bitch was balling in her debut. She was out there getting it. And you never would have knew about that shit unless there was a Caitlin Clark. You wouldn't. So many people talk so much shit about her. Look, I know a person straight up. I know a person because this is why y'all don't, don't like her because she's white. And I know somebody who said that shit. I had somebody straight up. I'm, 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 I was flubbergasted. Flubbergasted. I'm like, why don't you like her? And the motherfucker straight up said, because she's white. And I was floored. I was floored. Look, I'm so sick of you motherfuckers thinking that black people can't be racist. What the hell are you talking about? Racist is, is hate. Racism is hate for another person. That's all the shit is. You motherfuckers are racist towards each other. Y'all hate each other. Yes, you do. And the only time we come together is when some shit like this happens. Everybody in the fucking world was like, oh my God, we need this bitch to lose. I had niggas rooting for UConn. I don't know a goddamn person on UConn's women basketball team. And I'm pretty sure nobody else knew this shit either. You go to motherfucking sports bars, they playing the goddamn women's basketball game. I ain't never seen that shit a day in my life. A day in my life. Why is that happening? Because Caitlin Clark. This is America, people. This is fucking America. And America loves a white superstar. And they ain't had no white superstar since Larry goddamn Bird. That bitch was cold. Larry Bird motherfucker was cold. Look, bro, hey, I'm an 80s baby. I'm an 80s baby. I'm picking motherfucking Larry Bird over Kevin Durant. Fuck what y'all talking about. That white boy can ball and will go to the black niggas and be like, hey, y'all, the, the white person on y'all team, y'all better tell that motherfucker not to guard me because I'm going to cook his ass. This is my words, saying it as him. But he, this is some shit he say. He say, put the black boy on me. Then y'all have a better chance. That's how he was. 
And that's what you need. You need a bitch like Caitlin Clark to be out there all in your face and showing out like that. You do, because ain't that what black people do? Ain't that what you do? So fuck it. If that's what's going to draw attention to the game, let the shit be. Y'all do not need to root on this girl's downfall, because if you do, it's going to be the end of women's basketball. They're going to be like, see, I told you, that shit ain't nothing. Telling you, this bitch is, look, this bitch is selling out seats. Selling out seats to WNBA games. Got motherfuckers paying thousands of dollars for floor seats for a WNBA game. Remember, look, they, you couldn't give a WNBA ticket away. You couldn't give them bitches away. Nigga, I don't want that shit. Nigga, I got, I got to go cut my grass today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A nigga rather do a job than to go watch them play. And now she there, everybody's rooting on a downfall. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all want to y'all want to be able to uplift this person and everybody else to come. Who cares if the bitch is white? Who cares? She's still bringing attention to the game, and that's what motherfuckers need. They need attention to the game. Stop with the bullshit. Stop it. Stop with the hate, because that's all it is, is hate. Y'all hate that motherfucker because she white. You couldn't name me a star right now except for Skylar Diggins. And you want to know why you can name Skylar Diggins? Because she's cute. I'm just saying it that way because I'm married and I don't want my wife to be <laughs> looking at me like, what you looking at Skylar Diggins for? I'm not looking at Skylar Diggins like that. <laughs> but everybody, like, she bad. And y'all know she is. But you wasn't watching her because of basketball. You can't tell me, a, you can't tell me your favorite hi highlight with Skylar Diggins. You can't tell me your favorite highlight with Angel Reese, except for her TikToks. You can't. But you can with Kayla Clark. That bitch shooting from the logo. That bitch shooting from 30, 30 feet out. 30 plus feet. Yes, you can. Not only was she white, she was fucking good. And she's young, guys. She's young. I don't know. This bitch is like, probably like 21, 22. She's young. She's still a kid. She's still a kid. And she gonna need to be uplifted. Everybody around her need to come together and uplift her. Because everybody hating on her. Stop hating. Yes, this is America. We know some fucked up shit happened here, but that shit ain't going on no more. We can change that narrative. Change it. Stop hating on them. And I'm going to end it with this because I ain't say nothing about it. I ain't say nothing about it. The Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, that shit is over. This is, this is why it's over. Because what Kendrick Lamar said about Drake can destroy not only him, right, but everybody else around him and they money. Y'all gotta understand, when you think about Drake and OVO and all this, this motherfucker got Jordans. He got Jordans that got OVO on the side of them bitches. Yes, he do. He got a bunch of them hoes. You know what's gonna happen if that motherfucker get found to be a pedo? All that shit is gone. They gonna cut ties with them people. They gonna cut ties with Drake. And that's so much money that's gonna be lost. That's why the bitch issued a goddamn apology. Like, he, he, like, that, that's why. So, so look, J. Cole was like, fuck this shit. Like, it's, it's going to fuck with my spirit. The only reason J. Cole responded was because of y'all ass, the fans. If he didn't say nothing, y'all going to be like, oh, he a bitch. But he said something. And after he said it, the, 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 the spirit in him that's, that's awakened, right? Like, the, the part of him that has healed was like, God damn, bro, I really didn't want to do that shit. Like, any of y'all ever said some shit that you really wish you could take back? Right? That's how he was. He's like, damn, I wish I didn't do that shit, man. Because, like, it wasn't much of anything. Nigga didn't really say anything about him. And then when J. Cole came back, I don't care. What, that shit was whack. It was fucking whack. And y'all know it is. So don't look at J. Cole as if he was like retracting his motherfucking rap because it was whack. Nah, bro. It's, it's not in me to, to do this. I ain't no fucking diss artist. I make good music for people consciously. I'm a conscious rapper. That's what the motherfucker, he's a conscious rapper. And so is Kendrick. And Kendrick like, fuck y'all. It ain't no big three. It's big me, bitch. I'm the best. And that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be the best at your craft. And if you got somebody coming at your ass sideways, you're going to say something. Look, Kendrick said something because this is what this is right now. It started with Cat Williams. Don't slander my name. Don't try to lie on me because if you do, I'm going to come with the facts about you. That's what Kendrick did. Drake been sneak dissing every goddamn body. Meg the Stallion, SZA, everybody. He been, everybody. He just been sneaking the future. This motherfucker, Kendrick. He been sneak dissing bitches for the long, ex ex tentacion. He been sneak dissing his whole life. And it just amplified now since he be hanging around all these thugs, 21 Savage niggas and shit like that. He feel like he got the, the people behind him so he can say this crazy shit. Nah, man, you got to deal with somebody. And he had to deal with Kendrick. He had to deal with him. Look, that motherfucker was basically saying, I didn't do none of that shit that Kendrick said I did. I didn't do none of it. I don't care what y'all say. No, I wasn't there. I ain't got an 11 year old daughter. Show me the proof. 
I planted this information to Kendrick. Kendrick has 10 diss albums. 10. He got five he ain't put out. And he don't need to no more. Why? Because Drake literally waved the wipe. That nigga said, man, I'm tired of, I'm tired of dissing this nigga. I'm tired. I got to stop. Now, I'll tell you what you're tired of. You're tired of him saying the things that he's saying because it's going to make people pry into your life. That's all it's doing, making people pry into his life. And if y'all know Drake like I know Drake, Drake's going to be quiet. Drake said this. Drake said his mama said, shut your ass up for 72 hours, and trust me, something else is going to happen. Here's the problem. Ain't nothing else happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing else happened. Don't y'all niggas don't give a damn about the goddamn war going on in Israel and all this other shit. They just said a prime minister got shot five times in the gut. Nigga gonna be like, what's a prime minister? <laughs> Shut up, what's a prime minister? Nigga, there is nothing to distract y'all. Don't nobody give a goddamn about Trump and that bullshit with all the stuff he got. Cause it's been going on for like the last 10 years with Trump. Nobody give a damn about Trump and his bullshit. You care about this shit because it's the truth. It's the truth. And everybody right now is telling the truth and it's setting motherfuckers free. You also know what it's doing. It's also locking motherfuckers up. So Drake, go shut the fuck up. Drake, Drake ain't finna say nothing else about this shit. He's done. He better not. Not, not to a nigga that got five albums left to go. Ain't no telling. What a, a nigga that got five albums that already called you a pedophile and two of them bitches, what the hell else he got to say about you? Stop it. Drake, stop this shit right now. You don't have a shot. You don't have a chance. And everybody out there saying that he won is because you guys are so biased. Look, I don't got a dog in a fight. I like both these motherfuckers. You can say whatever you want to say. I listen to Drake and I listen to Kendrick. All y'all out there, some lies if you say you haven't. Yes, you have. Because if you say you don't like Drake's music, why don't you? You have to have listened to the shit not to like it. Right? That's like you assholes talk about y'all never listen to Ja Rule. Yes, you have. Matter of fact, Dry Rule is Drake before Drake was Drake. The melody motherfucker singing and everything. What did 50 Cent say about, about Ja Rule? He said if he would have kept on doing those melodies with all them goddamn pop singers, that he would have still been relevant. But no, nah, he would talk, talk about some gangster shit like Drake. Drake will talk about fucking Dracos and shit. What the hell, Drake? Really? Drizzy? From the grassy? The motherfucking light-skinned dude that was rolling around in a wheelchair? You didn't shoot that bitch that shot you? And now you ready to shoot everybody? God damn it! Listen, guys. Y'all got to stop falling for this bullshit has all been lies and everybody is being exposed in 2024 everybody and everything is getting exposed in 2024 get ready i hope y'all ain't got no shit on y'all i hope y'all ain't got no dirt and i hope y'all don't piss anybody off because i'm telling you they're gonna come after your ass <laughs> they're gonna come after you look this is my reaction to all this bullshit i'm gonna do more of these hoes i got time to do it now when i ain't studying for all these classes and shit i'm doing right it's so hard everything is so hard but you already know how it is it's life it's life Guys, live your truth. Live your truth right now so you can be prosperous throughout the rest of this year. Because 2025, I know how y'all be like, man, it's going to be my year. But seriously, if you guys get your shit together this year, 2025 is going to be so beautiful. Because you're going to need all this time to get together. You're going to need six months of preparation. Six months. So stop everything you're doing and start preparing for these next six months for 2025. And give Kaylin Clark a shot. Stop hating on her. And Drake, your light-skinned ass lost. Light-skinned boys is down again. Light-skinned is about the dark, niggas. We up. Even if, even if Kendrick is fucking five foot seven, we rocking with the boy. He's still good. <laughs> you can't fuck with nobody who's healed. Kendrick has healed. Go listen to Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers. Kendrick is healing. J. Cole is healing. Drake is still using and abusing you motherfuckers with the raps that he put out. Don't fall for it no more, guys. Look, y'all take care, man. Let me know if y'all want some more of these reaction videos. Even if you don't, I'm going to give them anyway. Y'all take care. Peace.